Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nadi. You can either call me Nadi or you can call me Nadika. Either one works. So today I'm going to be doing my makeup and also telling you guys a story time. Um, this story time is basically about the time that I got blackout drunk. Not one of my proudest moments, but it happened and I'm about to tell you guys about it. So, um, before we get this video started, please make sure you, um, like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and, um, turn on your post notifications so you get notified when I post, y'all. Let's see. Um, basically this happened when I was in college. Um, I was a freshman in college and, um, I decided to go to a party like I didn't really go to that many parties when I was in college but the ones that I did go to y'all I ain't gonna lie I had hella fun but I'm not really like a party goer anyway and I'm definitely not now so like yeah but anyways so I was going to this party so actually that same night we were having it was like a step show um and the step show was at I believe like at eight o'clock they usually were like at eight o'clock and they kind of lasted for a while and so many people came to my school to see the step shows it was uh the people who like the fraternities and sororities who actually went to oakland well i went to oakland university but the, those kids who actually went to oakland and it was also other schools coming to the step show and then of course the students um majority black students um um for our step shows at least i mean but you know like white fraternities and stuff they usually don't have like step shows and stuff so it's more like a black thing um but yeah so they um had their step show and it was about like eight and i remember i dressed so cute i had like on this little black crop top it had like a hole in the it was more like an oval shape in the middle so like the boobies was out these jeans and um i had like a flannel tied around it and then i had but i quickly realized even though they were not like high heels they were like booties <laughs> i started walking to the um the uh step show and my feet start hurting so i had to turn back around and um freaking mm -mm, mm -mm, turn around and go back and change my shoes so um i had went back i actually was going with one of my friends um that also went to school with me and um we went to the step show or whatever and then after that it was a party so the party i believe was at the q house if i'm not mistaken i believe it was the q house and um we get there and when we get there i don't remember what time the party started probably like at 10 it was literally like nobody really there so like we had like our own liquor or whatever um and we end up buying i believe we had um i was actually underage at the time because i was a freshman but we end up having um some hennessy some bacardi um what else do we have we had like a couple of different bottles and if you don't know you're not supposed to like mix liquor <laughs> like dark and light together so that was like a really big mistake that i made um but we end up uh mixing the liquor together at least i did i don't know about everybody else um and <laughs> when that happened y'all it, it was crazy because it had to like sit in like set in first and um once it finally did set in that was like a crazy night so at the time i was talking to this dude and he actually used to go to oakland so he wasn't at oakland no more first of all really creepy give him like creep vibes but whatever i was still talking to him because i had met him at a previous party and like um that was like the first party that i went to on campus well it wasn't really on campus it was off campus but it was at a loft and i met him there and um i was still talking to him i don't know how many like if it was like a couple of weeks later or it was months later but i was still talking to him and i just remember um, we were at the party they were doing like the stepping or whatever um i'm sorry y'all let me get this freaking concealer on um, where is it i got some new concealer um i used it once before but he had end up um wait what was i saying i forget 
put this all over my lids. So anyways, yeah, I was talking to the dude from a previous party and we were at the party and we were chilling. Not he, he wasn't there, but we were at the party, um, me and my friends, and we were chilling, drinking, dancing, having hella fun. And I remember because I mixed all those liquors together, um, probably like an hour or two into the party, that's when all hell broke loose y'all and i actually got receipts like um i don't know if i have receipts of like the actual party but i just know that <laughs> i had at the end of the party i was like i had my phone in my hand and i was in the car and i was like singing drunk as hell didn't even remember recording the videos and posting them on snapchat and um i just like completely embarrassed embarrassed myself but anyways um, let me go back. So, we're at the party. I black out. I'm, like, remembering bits and pieces of the party. So, I remember the, 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 um, the cues they were stepping. And I remember, um, this is probably before, like, I got, like, fucked up. Because I can't, I, I drunk the entire night. Um, but it was some, um, the, it was some cues there. Actually, it was, was he a cue? Clearly it was some cues there because it was a party, but uh, I'm trying to figure out the person that I was dancing with. I don't remember if he was a cue or not, but um, I was dancing with one of them, and um, I remember <laughs> they flashed the freaking flashlight in my face. I'm guessing like to see if like I was ugly or not, and um, they were being like really creepy because. <laughs> Like, majority of the ones that went to my school, they were all, like, older than me. And they just be trying. I feel like a lot of college dudes, not all, but a lot of them, they be trying to prey on, like, the young girls. Because we're fresh, we're new, and they be trying to get us and just, like, treat us like coochies. Because <laughs> we have coochies. So, um... It was, I forget what he was, but he was, um, dancing or whatever. Well, me and him was dancing. He flashed a flashlight in my face on his phone. And I guess he approved because he turned the light off and he kept dancing with me. But you know, you, you never know. They just can be creepy. But I was just, I remember dancing and then my friend had told me that I got hit in the face. <laughs> when they were stepping and i didn't even know because like i told y'all like that's like around the time where i was like really blacking out at this point um so i'm starting to black out and i'm like going in and out so i'm going in and out and like i'm trying to talk to like the, the dude that i was talking to at the time i'm like calling him and texting him talking about i miss you and i want to see you whatever so um <laughs> I remember uh, before we left, I had did like the splits and I remember everybody bringing out their phones and recording me. It was embarrassing y'all. I'm so embarrassed to even tell y'all this story. But it was fun though why it lasted because I would never ever 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 do that shit again. But um, they were recording me on their phones and I just remember going outside with my friend she came outside with me and like i got really hungry i wanted to eat and then i was texting and calling the dude trying to talk to him and get him to come to the school to come get me because he literally lived right across the street that's even more creepy but anyways he lived right across the street from the school and um he i we, we i remember us leaving and we in the car like i said i was recording on my phone but i didn't even know so we're in the car and i'm on the phone texting him asking him like is he gonna come to the school to come pick me up because like even though i was a freshman in college like i didn't have a car so the only way i was gonna be able to see him um was if he came and got me so we go back to the school and for my school, I don't know how, like, other schools... I know they got, like, probably, like, IDs and stuff. And, like, only certain people can get in at a certain time. Um, like, the school be open to the public where you don't have to, like, swipe in um, with your ID to prove that you're a student. Um, but 
by the time we got back we have to like swipe in but since i wasn't going back to the school yet and the dude was coming to get me i still had my id and stuff because when i went home i was gonna um have to go back into my dorm or whatever so um hold on wait so we get into the car whatever we drive back to the school and um i'm sitting in the car waiting for the dude so i didn't want to go in yet and for like this was a really busy night because usually when it's like the weekends or like when friday comes um my school is mainly like a commuter school um and most of the kids they go home so their parents and stuff was coming to get them um so the roundabout thingy um where you park in the front to drop people off was pretty packed that night and i remember getting out the car well actually i don't remember getting out the car but my friend told me that i got out the car and i almost got into a car with a stranger and she had to stop me <laughs> she had to stop me because i almost got into a stranger's car y'all and in the process i'm pretty sure when i opened the door my id and my jacket fell out the car and i didn't know so I get picked up finally by the dude because like they found the right car and he's actually in the car with his roommate um because I guess his roommate drove him that night so his roommate comes to pick me up in the car and he's in the car or whatever and I'm telling him like I'm like hungry um the crazy thing is I don't even I remember talking about I was hungry because like I say y'all I was blacked out but I was going in and out from like knowing what I was doing to not knowing what I was doing and um we end up going to mcdonald's and i didn't know where we went i wanted something else i think i wanted white castles but he said it was too far so we end up just getting mcdonald's and i didn't even the crazy thing i didn't even eat the fucking food so <laughs> i wanted it and i didn't even well i wanted to eat but i just did i didn't eat the food i don't know why it's probably because it was mcdonald's and like after a while i stopped really liking mcdonald's but I didn't eat the food and I just remember like this is the and, like the super embarrassing part is because I was at his apartment or whatever and um he was in the bathroom I don't know what he was doing but he was taking all day so I got up and I went in the bathroom and he was like bro go back in the room because I was just so drunk and I was loud like it was embarrassing like I should be ashamed of myself but anyways he was like go back in the room and i was just like bro like why are you taking so long can you please hurry up and like at that after that like i don't remember the rest of the night but i remember waking up and um i was so freaking sick y'all i had <laughs> I was sick to my stomach like I threw up so freaking much to the point where I threw up the entire time I was at his apartment up until it was time for us to go even though the school was across the street it felt like forever so he finally dropped me off and like I was just telling him how I was like I was so sorry and I was so embarrassed and he was just like it's okay just next time um know your limits or whatever and I'm like you right you right because i clearly didn't know my limits but this is like when i first got to college like i never had really drunk or anything so i really took advantage of college <laughs> but um he was just like next time know your limits and then he dropped me off and i had went into the school and then i realized i didn't have my id which means that i wasn't locked out of the building but i was locked out of my room and i don't remember where my roommate was but she was not there and I, I was just trying to get in my freaking bed, y'all, and go to sleep. But I was like, maybe if I eat something, <laughs> which is so stupid. I was like, maybe if I eat something, maybe I'll feel better. That I was the able only to get with some freaking ice cream. I don't know what was like in my head and was like, let me eat this ice cream. But I ate the ice cream and that shit came right back up. And I remember just throwing up on the freaking... Uh, floor in the bathroom of the building of the school 
and just throwing up everywhere i was so drunk y'all like i didn't even clean that shit up i was just too fucking drunk and i'm pretty sure when they went in that bathroom they was so pissed off because like who just left all this throw up on the ground and didn't fucking clean it up so <laughs> i y'all i'm so ashamed <laughs> but um anyways i have finally was able to get back into my room i think one of the ras came and opened the door for me and i get back into my room and um i just sleep i sleep and at this time i was also working but i called off i said i can't i can't y'all i can't come in so i ain't go to work um that I believe it was that Monday. I don't know what the hell I just did, but to the school like I said get back in my dorm finally I eat some freaking ice cream <laughs> throw up everywhere um my mom calls me y'all and she's like um I don't know what made her call me but it was just like a random call and she was like um I was just basically I guess she was just calling to check up on me or whatever and when she calls to check up on me <sighs> it's just so bad like I couldn't even hide it but she was like what's wrong and I said nothing she was like are you sure you don't sound good and I said yeah I think I'm just not feeling well <laughs> and she's just like um basically if I'm not feeling good in like the next hour or whatever I can she had come to the school and um take me to the doctor or whatever I never called her back for her to come up to the school. I just like slept off, like slept it off. <laughs> um, Cause I knew what was wrong with me. I just needed to rest <laughs> and rejuvenate myself. And uh, I have, I think I eventually told her that it was because I was drunk, but um, yeah, that's pretty much 
the time that I got drunk because and blacked out y'all i know it's not a long story time but like i really don't have many stories to tell and um i just thought this one would be fun to tell because i was i'm so embarrassed by it but it's a lesson learned not to get that i mean i don't drink liquor anyway anymore but um like after that day i never like drunk like that ever again because it's just it was just it's just not giving all what liquor don't be giving what y'all think it give i don't know maybe it's just me maybe i just can't i just can't stand liquor no more like that was like a time where um it just changed my entire perspective on liquor like i said like i never really drunk before that so drinking all that liquor and then <laughs> not like realizing that i needed to like have a limit to it yeah it was pretty sickening actually i could tell you guys about another time um so it was just me and my friend and she liked she likes drinking like i don't know if she still does but she like drinking like a lot more than me like i would rather like smoke a blunt rather than drink honestly so i remember one night i don't know why we randomly bought liquor but we randomly bought liquor it was just me and her and uh we decided that we was gonna drink that night and it's crazy because during that time i had work like the next day and i wasn't gonna like get drunk drunk but the liquor that we had bought we had some freaking amsterdam the 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 peach kind first of all amsterdam is cheap as hell i don't know how much that shit costs but it's cheap as hell um and it's really not good either so <laughs> i don't know what made us drink that but we had got some amsterdam need to brush it out a little bit and i think we just drunk that night by ourselves and we were just chilling we had got some food was playing music and this is when she was like living in her um apartment um and she didn't have a roommate so like i was always at her apartment like all the freaking time i pretty much lived there even though i had a dorm but if eventually i had stopped living well i stopped um being able to live on campus because i was not a full-time student at one point so instead of staying in the dorm um or like st staying at home i would stay in her dorm room or whatever so I stay in her dorm room with her. We get liquor. We get in turn, y'all. We having a good time. The next day comes around. And I didn't even know that I was like super drunk. The next day comes around and I'm like shh. I'm like, S H I T. I feel so bad, but I still gotta go into work. <laughs> so this time where where I was working, pretty much I was there by myself and we only was serving like certain things so a lot of the stuff that we would usually serve was not like accessible to customers so like i figured that because of that reason i would be able to um just chill and just sit down and work <laughs> but that was not it y'all i was not i was so sick i threw up at work I just, I just, liquor is not my friend. Sitting, like, I was able to sit <laughs> and, like, try to serve coffee, but everybody who was coming over there was getting on my nerves. And, like, like I said, certain things we don't offer on the weekends and like they be getting mad and i'm like i'm just not in the mood today so i end up asking um one of the dudes who worked at the job which he was the only dude actually that worked where i worked i end up asking him if he could come and like finish my shift 
for me and he came so that was nice of him and he was like y'all better stop drinking that cheap ass liquor <laughs> i was like you right <laughs> you right next time it won't be a next time This is my finished makeup look um and um i really hope you guys enjoyed the story times even though they were short um if you guys want me to do more videos like this just make sure you leave a comment down below so if you want me to do more videos like this make sure you leave a comment down below like i said don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video